You too. What's up? What's happening? I um just got through running around with my sister. We ran down over yeah, it's over a bridge down the street, a few miles, about 25 miles. You guys watch my video. I am smoking the Viking from Brandon, Pole Climber 1985 gifted me this and uh, it's, it's a small one I took it with me today I cleaned it up last night um, which it was like brand new it only been smoked a couple times but I ran some q-tips in there pipe cleaners through it cleaned it all up which it was like new and uh, smoked almost every one of the blends if you, if you don't know which ones they are I, I uh, had it in my video last night but I smoked almost every one of them blends last night, a bowl of each of them. Today I got uh, his suicide blend, which I had sent Jaime's. Forgot what that suicide blend was. Um, maybe that was a snuff. No, he had a suicide blend also. I got some of that. and uh, But last night I got some from uh, Brandon. And... Uh, his wife had made a tamper and he gave me a bunch of blends and the pipe and I was smoking this thing all day today and uh, I got some of the suicide blend in it and that stuff's good it's got like uh, cherry and I'm not a cherry fan but it's got cherry in it and then he put some mixture 965 or something in it to mellow it out some Virginia's in there and that's pretty damn good it, it, the cherry ain't really it's not a gooey blend it's nice so I've been smoking that today off and on and then uh, I smoked the, the dark night Smoker's Haven's uh, Dark Knight. That that was good. Uh, a lot of blend, blends I didn't try. Um, but I went down to went down to two smoke shops. On the peninsula over San Mateo, San Bruno, all along there. Um, went into one and it was like just a glorified liquor store but they had a couple display cases of cigars and had some uh, blends and jars. Then I went to this other one and there was like four old timers sitting in there smoking pipes. That's over on El Camino Real in Los Altos. Jaime and Rock and Piper might know of that one. Bunch of old timers sitting in there smoking pipes. Um, they had tins. They had a decent selection of uh, bulk, kind of pricey. Um, everything was kind of pricey, but it's Los Altos. I mean, you know. And they had a uh, they had samples in there. If you wanted samples, they had tins from some tins, some from 05 
Cornell and Deal and things like that, but somebody had already filtered through them all and took all the good ones. Just oddballs that were left and a bunch of open ones for samples that were like dried out. But uh, they had a good selection of tins, new ones, new tins and stuff like that. Um, they're having a, they said, yeah, you know, I told them I'm from the Bay Area, you know, they said, come on over every first Sunday of the month, they said there's going to be like 20 people there, there's going to be a pipe maker there, I don't know who, I didn't recognize the name. Pipe maker? Or a pipe dealer? Pipe maker, I thought he said. And he named the name, but I didn't recognize it. And uh, he said, yeah, come on down. We're going to have, you know, 20 blends that you can sample. And so-and-so is going to be here. And so-and-so is going to be here. And I'm like, all right. You know, whoever they are. Evidently, he thought I knew them. Uh, real small shop, real small, um, but they were real nice, um, way cool. Uh, they had, I got a couple of tins from them, some stuff that I ran out of, squadron leader, tin of squadron leader, tin of, uh, St. James Flake, um, which is a Virginia Perique. And then uh, I got Samuel Gallup. All these are Samuel Gallup. And this is uh, Samuel Gallup Black Forest, which is, it's a, it's an aromatic. It's a black Cavendish, Virginia's, and, and honey. And that's what had me get it, because it, it, it's got honey in it. Um, there isn't a description on here, but I looked up on one of the reviews, and one of the reviews, I think it's Smoking Pie, I don't know where it's from, Black Cabinet, appearing nothing exceptional in the standard rub and holds, oh, I don't know, I don't know what to say, oh. Cavendish taste complemented by the honey, which is easy to detect, but is not a nondescript sweetness. Definitely full, but a definite full honey taste, and it doesn't bite. It may be biased as I adore Sam Gawith's blends, so probably best try it yourself. In the Cavendish, you will not be dis disappointed in this one. But anyway. The honey thing kind of got me on the black forest. Eighteen dollars, kind of expensive over there, but the other thing they had. Have any of you heard of? this blend and it's probably for some old timers that may have heard from it rat trays Charles mixture okay it is an aromatic of course they had some of this and I said, oh, I never seen that blend. He says, Up, oh, nah, I don't like it. And okay, the other guy, he goes, Ah, oh, it's not bad. And the other guy says, Huh? I go, What's that mean? He goes, Ah. Oh. He goes, You can blend with it or something. The other guy says, You can blend with it or do something with it, but no, I don't like it. Don't buy it. I said. Is that, are you kidding me, or you want it all for yourself? He goes, no, that's bad. 
Oh, well, you know, I've been, you know, I smoke shit. You give it to me. It's a hundred gram tin. He says, I got a bunch of it in the back room back there. And I, I don't know what he said. Anyway, I told him, well, what are you going to, what kind of deal are you going to give me on a tin? He says, you don't want, want none of that. He goes, I'll tell you what, if you want to try it, if you have to try it, and you want to buy it, he goes, I'll sell it to you for $8 a tin. $8 for a 100 gram tin? Rat trace? I'll try it. Sure. So, here it is again. I just was wondering if there's any old timers, what they think about it. It was real dry. I opened the tin. Very dry. Of course, it's an old blend, discontinued. They don't carry it no more. I don't know where he got it sold it to me cheap. He had a bunch more cans up there. I really didn't think it was that bad. I mean, hey, if that's all I had, I'd smoke it and it would be great. Um, I am rehydrating it now. So I want to see how it is once I rehydrate it and if it gets any better I'm gonna go get me some more tins of it for that price um, wasn't bad didn't bind my tongue there was a hint I don't I want to say like a sweet tart just a tiny every now and then it wasn't a cherry, wasn't a vanilla, it, but it was on them lines somewhere in between. It was like, I'd like to hear some comments of some, some uh, I guess this was a while back. Uh, I'm not talking 20 years, I'm talking maybe 8 years or something, or 5 years maybe. Uh... I can't look at the tin because I got it in a baggie with a damp paper towel, like uh, like the major had uh, was talking to Piper McGee about. I'm doing that that way. Um, but anyway, I'm at 13 minutes already. I'm you know I just I don't know how it goes so fast either. I'm taking so long at trying to say something or because time just flew by I anyway I'm gonna cut you loose but I had a good time with my sister I ain't seen her in a couple weeks three weeks or so and she don't live far away she just got a lot of stuff going on in her life but uh, I want to let you know about this the good deal on that um, I just want to hear if everybody thinks it's garbage or if it's just me that'll smoke anything or if there's some people out there that actually like it uh, and I wanted to show you the blends that I had gotten. Uh, one, two of them, one of them I had before. The other one, two, you know. Anyway. Uh, I didn't put a description, I don't believe, below for Pole Climber 1985. S give them a sub. Um, I'll try to put it in a link on this one. I might have. I don't think I did. But give them a sub. Nice guy, because um, that's the main reason why I done this video. Because I thought I might have forgot that. But anyway, I'm gonna catch up on some videos, watch some videos, and see what I missed today. I got seven messages um, and a bunch of videos I gotta check out. I just walked in now. It's 3:15 over here in California. So with that. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Take care. See ya. Keep them lit. Bye now.